Hi, this is Don, the old school fish guy. Now today I've got a real short lesson for you and it goes along with, we've seen a lot of videos that talk about how pH is far less important perhaps than we've always thought or been taught, especially back in the old days, because the fish that we buy in the fish stores typically are raised in a different pH than what they were in the wild generations ago. Well, let's talk about temperature a little bit today. Um, sometimes I think people overstress about the temperature of their fish tanks. Um, sure, fish like discus need a higher temperature than, than most fish. I get that. Um, but you'd, you'd be amazed about how many fish can handle some fairly significant temperature swings. I don't always add a heater to, to all of my tanks. I do have heaters in most of them. Um, we don't have air conditioning and uh, we only use a small pellet stove uh, to heat a very vast house. Um, the downstairs where my fish tanks are is typically right around 70 degrees and the upstairs uh, much colder. <laughs> the air floats up the stairs from my little tiny pellet stove. Um, so our, our basement temperature where my fish tanks are, it can run anywhere from 65 to 80 degrees. Um, 65 at night in the winter and 80 degrees during the day in the summer. And on the smaller tanks, my, my fish see a 5 to 6 degree temperature swing just in a 24 hour period um, sometimes. Um, most of my tanks, even if they have a heater, I, I seldom put one adequate for that size tank according to manufacturer's specifications. So my heaters tend to run fairly consistent. Um, if, if the temperatures drop too much at night, my heater runs all night long and it barely keeps the water from dropping too much. And that's okay. Um, so I have, I have one tank that I keep at a consistent 78 degrees. Um, my 125 gallon tank, which is a community tank, I keep it around, eh, it, it runs from 74 to 78 um, most of the time. It seldom goes up above 78. Um, my little 20 gallon, I've got a heater in there and it keeps somewhere between 74 and 80. It'll, it'll jump up during the summer. And that's, see, that's a sample of, of my various tanks. Listen, people, the point is, if your fish are healthy, um, they can handle temperature swings, but you gotta know your own fish. Um, if your fish naturally occur in shallow water, here's, here's something that we don't even think about. If your fish naturally occur in shallow water, um, shallow water has drastic drops in temperature at night and the temperature rises fast during the day as the sun beats down on it. When, when the rain comes, shallow water drops in temperature significantly because rainwater is almost always colder than, than the lake, stream, whatever. Um, if your fish come from brackish water, um, they're used to wide swings in temperature and salt because you know, if you've got brackish water, usually it means you've got river water coming in and salt water coming in the other way. With the high tide, the ocean is usually cooler because it's bigger, it's deeper, and the river might bring in cold water from rain, it might bring in warmer water. If it's shallow, it just depends. So you need to know your fish. Um, so. All I'm saying here is don't stress so much. Uh, try and provide a reasonable environment and stop worrying about, oh, I gotta have exactly 77.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, <laughs> your fish don't carry thermometers with them to, to send you an email when they get too hot or too cold. Um, hey, listen, all I wanna do is remove some stress, help you have some fun. That's what it's all about. Bye.